comes back to the same thing. There has to be a miracle of saving grace. It only comes through the Messiah, Jesus the Christ. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me as Christ, as Lord, as Savior. And for those that embrace this, that say like Lazarus, I was dead. I've been given new life. I'm his. I'm all his. That's the life on mission that is the fruit of the gospel. The miracle, the Messiah, the mission, the gospel of Jesus Christ, told over and over and over again by the great shepherd to his sheep. My question is, did you see that? Would you pray with me? Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for the undeniable proof that you have given us over and over and over again. And I thank you, Lord, first for giving me eyes to see that you would reach into the stone-dead heart that was me and give me life. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, to take that life and to infectiously spread it. Not that I or anybody here has the power to give life, but we do have the opportunity to introduce people to you, the life giver. I love what I heard Andy Stanley say this week. I can't make anybody love you, Lord, but I can set up some dates. And I pray that we as evangelists, as missionaries of the Messiah, holders of the miracle in our heart, Lord, use us as matchmakers. Send us to where it may be dangerous. Give us the no matter what passion and conviction. And I, Lord, I pray that you give us that righteous frustration as well when we see the injustice of unbelief under the umbrella of your name. All the while, Lord, keep us humble. Keep us humble. Forgive us for our hypocrisy and help us to be more holy and like you every day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.